All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are just taking a quick look at Bitcoin here. Before we begin, please do like and subscribe. Really, really appreciate all your support. Come and basically get involved with the channel as well if you want to become a YouTube member. Really, really appreciate you helping out with the channel. And with that all being said, we are just taking a quick look at Bitcoin here. We can see on the ter in terms of the macro, things going very swimmingly at the minute. A pretty damn nice textbook breakout back test of this bear market resistance. You can see here, here, resistance coming all the way down to here. The breakout, the back test, the, the run up of the back test again, followed by another run up to the upside. Very nice to see. Obviously, a lot of these areas here getting broken out of, which is really, really cool. Just going to get rid of some of these lines. Make my chart a bit clearer and more defined. Easier to understand because as I've done a lot of a lot of analysis of this Bitcoin chart over the past few past few years really. But this is the only thing that really matters right now. The breakout back test and continuation of that bear market resistance. Looking quite nice here, you know, clearly making some bullish market structure, higher highs and higher lows right now. And again, now we've come into another area of structure here, making some very nice consolidation and support in this area. Obviously, a lot of people are saying there's not a lot of volume in the markets right now, and I can't help but agree, to be fair. If we take a look at the volume, which is you know always tends to fall off of my chart for some reason, you can see here the massive amount of volume during the bull market, you know, decreasing volume in this area here as we were making another high. Lots of leverage trading, followed by you know this massive sell-off into the bear market. You can see here really. On this uh, Bitstamp chart, obviously a Bitstamp, not a wi that widely used exchange, so the volume probably would be decreasing. Let me just take a look at another chart here, actually. Coinbase is obviously going to be a good one, isn't it? So if we take a look here at this Coinbase chart, this is actually some of the analysis I did for one of my courses. You can see, interestingly enough, the volume has actually been increasing as we've been getting lower here. But recently, you can see here, the volume has been quite low in this area even though we have been heading up, which is a bit of a concern, obviously, when you are con you know, considering basically heading to the upside again. You obviously want lots of, lots of volume and strength in the price action moves. Right now, there's quite a lot of leverage trading going on in the markets, I think. But if we just take a quick look at the daily time frame here, zoomed in on the current price action, you can see really we just came up into this area here. Got above the 038 Fibonacci, which was nice. Started to run away, but got the sell off back to support. I actually had a long position ready at the 038 Fibonacci if we came down and retested it. Got filled in this area. And then we obviously got, you know, a decent bit of volatility, a pump, a dump, and now heading back up to the upside again, maybe for that continuation up towards the 050 Fibonacci. The Fibonacci obviously pulled from the high of the bull market to the low of the bear market currently. And right now, really, we are just playing a game of fib, fib levels, in my opinion. You can see what the breakout here. We've got the deviation, but came back inside the 023. We run up to the 038, we grind our way above it, get the breakout, the back test, and now really probably looking for another leg up, in my opinion, towards the 050. And that is what I'm basically banking on with this trade. Currently sitting in a decent amount of profit here. You can see we've got the breakout, the break above the back test. And now I think we'll probably come up, in my opinion, and make a new high here, depending on what we see in the market. Obviously, a lot of people are saying we have got this big bearish divergence in terms of the, the daily and the the strength of the price action here, which obviously I totally agree with as well. So, you know, right now I'm just keeping things pretty pretty chill. Not too much leverage. Not too much um, sizing in terms of the position. Just taking a little position here, looking for a move to the upside in my opinion. But, you know, obviously this big bearish divergence can't be ignored and we could easily see ourselves coming back down for a deeper retest of this area back here, which we still haven't retested at around 25k, in my opinion. Obviously, here back when we had the second, the previous leg up, we had a very nice back test into this area before a pump, and we could easily see something like that again. A nice back test into this area here before a continuation would make a lot of sense. So that is really it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please do like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Become a YouTube member if you want to support the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.